and what? Oh my gosh, that was Cambodia. <sighs> How's it going everyone? It is exactly here. Welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. So you guys always seem to enjoy when I play this Plunkett map. It's basically a combination of a whole bunch of really difficult locations picked out by professional GeoGuessr players in the Plunkett community. It's a very fun map, but one that's very difficult, obviously, as the title implies. And so uh, we are going to give it a go here. And my aim is to get five countries in a row. Uh, but I think in the last video, we were only able to get three or four. So that is a real, real challenging map here. And so the first one, we've got this white dirt kind of... Ooh, very, ooh, ooh, ooh. So immediately I was thinking Spain. The longer I look at these trees, they kind of look like African trees, kind of like um, very like spread out and short. So it's between Spain and South Africa. Obviously, South Africa's the only country in the African continent with Generation 4. I, I still think I like it best because of this tree right here. And so I think we'd be in this kind of area here if we were there. Oh, no, it was it was Arge. So Arge, you do see similar trees, I guess. But yeah, tough round. Okay. And this one with the red car, I believe, is U.S. Virgin Islands. We're driving left-hand side of the road here, and it looks quite American. So yeah, U.S. Virgin Islands. They do drive left there. And so in terms of U.S. Virgin Islands, there's the island here, and there's the island to the north. And I cannot remember uh, which is the one with the red car and which is the one with the black car. But... Looking south here, we don't see any hills to our south. So maybe it is the flatter one. This one feels kind of more flat, although it's still got significant hills. Whereas these ones are kind of more mountainous. So I think I'm going to go for the south one this time. And yes, 13 kilometers away. Okay, nice. Very good. So the, the, the red car is to the south there. And this one, we have an, a Singaporean flag. I think we had this in a previous video, actually, because it was a Costa Rican flag here as well. I think I may have called it a Thai flag, but was it actually London? I can't remember. It was somewhere in Britain for this one. Uh, yeah, no, no, that's what I remember. It wasn't it wasn't in London. It was near Liverpool there. Okay, so next one here. Uh, what's difficult about this one, actually? It, it feels very uh, Argentinian to me, although I suppose it could be a weird Uruguay. Pretty sure this might be an Argentinian pole, actually. So I think I'm just going to go straight for Ar Argentin Argentina here. Uh, and yes, we're correct. Okay, right next to Paraguay there. Okay, that's why it's an interesting round. I definitely thought it had like northern vibes and I ended up getting the exact right um, latitude there. But this has been a very easy seed. So let's see if we can actually do five off the bat here. Uh, we should be on a... Oh, what? It didn't count the country streak there. Even though I did... It was in Argentina. So I guess we'll, uh, we'll, we'll put it up to three because that was correct. Um, and so this one... Uh, so USA flag, green street signs, this should be USA. I don't see how this is, could possibly be Canada. It doesn't even look like Canada at all to me, it feels fairly southern. So I am just going to go for the US here uh, and hope for the best, I guess. Wow, okay, so up near, in, uh, up in Tacoma, definitely a difficult round, uh, but it is USA. And uh, the, the flag was not lying, thank goodness, uh, unlike, the unlike the UK around the other turn and so this one we've got a short antenna fairly poor road quality winter coverage hilly and so we've got like the eternal uh the eternal question here of winter coverage italy bulgaria hungary czechia is possible france is possible even here i can see the long dashes remind me of france but this is the only long dash actually the other ones kind of look more normal length i think this is bulgaria personally this is quite a high peak over here but i guess it's kind of distorted by the fact that it is winter uh but yeah sun's to the south so definitely northern hemisphere definitely europe and tenor as well helps us out but i think i'll just go bulgaria here could we actually get five off the bat is the question yeah, nah. It was actually in Greece, so yeah, a tough round. We end up with 18,000 points, which is by no means a bad effort. What what was with this one? We were indeed in Arge here. Look at that. We are definitely in Argentina. Anyway, so a four country stick to start us off with. Let's see if we can get the five. Um, I think four is <laughs> might end up being the best. We'll see. Um, it's a very difficult, difficult map, this one. So this one with a white car kind of gave me um, Bolivia vibes off the bat, but it could be Brazil too. No, I think I do prefer Bolivia here. I guess the other possibility is is Peru. Um, but yeah, with these bollards in the back, they might remind me more of Peru. Everything else kind of feels Bolivian. I'm just trying to think where I'd actually put it. Maybe on one of these roads in here. Or maybe near Santa Cruz here. So yeah, I think that's probably my best bet. Uh, let's, let's see if it is actually Peru then. And what? Oh my gosh. That was Cambodia. <sighs> I'm just trying to think if there's anything... No, I, I, I still don't know how I could get that. I mean, like, okay, if I was thinking harder, maybe, but that was a tough, tough round. Okay, so that definitely, uh, that was the intended effect there to get 
get me. And this one feels like maybe some Trekker or something like that. And we have like a Colombian pole. So I think we might be in Leticia here. I think we might be in Leticia. I know you get this kind of coverage around there. Uh, and the climate would certainly fit. Desk does feel a bit Amazonian. We have kind of this concrete road as well. Uh, interesting architecture here. We've got like a blue and purple house. Um, but yeah, driving right hand. Ooh. This guy, well, it's kind of hard to tell what side of the road we're driving, but this guy looks like he's set up for right-hand drive. So I'm pretty sure we are in Leticia here, and then maybe just like exiting the town or something like that. So let's let's try out block here. Oh my gosh, it is. Okay, so this is indeed in um, in Colombia. So that's the Colombian poles, and this is uh, San and Andres. And uh, that is indeed in Colombia. So we, we essentially guessed the furthest most point in Colombia. Um from where this is so quite an intriguing little round there i mean yeah i think even that would be closer so wow we we we, we narrowly escape with a country street there. <laughs> um wow interesting round and here we have an, like an abandoned car this is super interesting and it's got a fanta bottle next to it very interesting indeed and this is some of this uh bon uh not bonfire some bushfire coverage out in russia surprisingly and uh and so you find this like uh, i feel like it's out like between yakutsk and I don't know, maybe between there and out here. I don't know. I think it's somewhere out here that you get this uh, this uh, bonfire coverage or this bushfire coverage. So, yeah, but these bollards are Russian bollards, so we know it's going to be there. And the Gen 4 is new as well. And, yeah, so we were near Yakutsk, so actually a good guess. Good good little meta. Whoa. And so I wish we could look around for this, but we're going to have to go like that. So this pole looks American to me. Kind of looks, kind of looks like the ones you see a lot in, like, the West Coast, I want to say. Uh, yeah. And so... Very interesting. The Google camera has fallen over here, um, but I'm pretty sure it is US rather than Canada or Mexico here. So let's see if I'm right. Oh man, Vancouver, are you kidding me? Well, the uh, probably the most American looking of the Canadian cities. If not, if, if it's not Toronto, then it's got to be Vancouver. And we couldn't see any mountains in the background. They may have helped me if I could see them, but that's the nature of NMPZ. So we, uh, we lose again there. Um, so uh, let us head back in here and, and, and give it another go. And so first one here, looking Chilean. This feels like a Chilean sign, concrete poles. Just some interesting kind of dusk coverage here, or dawn coverage, I assume. Well, where's the sun here? Um, sun might feel like it's more so to the west, so dusk coverage, right? Um, and so I think I'm going to go around there, Concepcion area. Ends up being a bit closer to Santiago, but yeah, with the Spanish sign, was not too hard there. Uh, this one's interesting, kind of feels Thai or Filipino, I would say, with the Generation 4 would make sense as well. A lot of banana plants over here. Um, it's hilly. I think I prefer Thailand, but maybe down on the peninsula here. But yeah, it could certainly be elsewhere as well. But let's go for that. I think it's most likely. And okay, so it was actually just in an Indo, so a tough round there. But guys, that, that's, what the, that's what the map's about. So let's see if we get some more interesting ones here. This one certainly fits the bill. It's very flat, snow poles. I think this might be a, a an extremely flat and overexposed Norway. Um, the coverage, well, it's, it's a bit much. The coverage is normally quite uh, quite um, exposed in Norway. It looks really nice and pretty, but on this occasion, it seems that the camera has had a bit of a glitch. And I think from what I can make out of these bollards, they do they do appear to be the, the, the typical Norwegian ones, which I feel like you can see elsewhere, but um, but yeah, you do see them in Norway as well. And so yeah, we're just close to Oslo, though. that definitely makes sense. And the next one here, Generation 2, very green, a very, like a big rain ditch here. I was, Taiwan was one of my first thoughts here. Could it be Korea as well? The fact that we've just got like a lone um, like metal pole here would make me think of Korea. That's something they definitely do there. But the climate might make me think a bit more of Taiwan. I think it's between the two here. Although what should just be Europe and I'm just completely wrong. But these big ditches make it look like a high rainfall area. So maybe Taiwan then. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. It feels right between the two, you know? It feels right between the two. It doesn't feel quite tropical enough to be Taiwan. It doesn't feel quite, like, wet enough to be to be South Korea, maybe. I'm not sure about that. But we're definitely on a hill, so that would fit both countries. Huh. Maybe I'll trust... I'm going to trust the, uh, trust the uh, metal pole meta here and go for, like, some weird... Let's say we're, we're, like, in a weird one up in the hills here. Watch this be insane, guys. Come on, baby. Oh, man. 
That makes so much more sense. It's in Macau. So at least I got the Asian vibe, but I was right. It should be more tropical like that. And, uh, well, we were going to get it wrong anyway. So, uh, you know, I would like to think that's a nice effort, but still, still no cigar. And so this one, these signs may, might feel Spanish without a white outline. That's the best thing I can think of here. Yep. Right near Gibraltar there, actually. Oh, no, we're in the UK. Well, there you go. <laughs> was a Spanish sign, I guess, but um, what can you do? This one's interesting. Some trekker coverage in a wintry place. The, the trees almost feel... Well, I was about to say, the trees almost feel Asian, and I think I spied a Japanese flag here. So, yeah, I was going to say, this looks kind of like faux European architecture. almost feels a bit Russian or something like that, but then you can see these Asian accents maybe on the uh, rooftops here. That's, that's kind of the impression I'm getting. So I'm going to go somewhere near Tokyo here. Why not? And, okay, so it was near Sapporo there, but uh, we're correct. And this one, wow, a bit of like wavy coverage. It's like strangely uh, distorted here on this side of screen. Uh, but this should be USA with the rumble strips, I think. So I'm going to go in. That's kind of a strange climate. I'm going to go, do you get any hills up here? I think it's pretty flat in Minnesota. I, I'm just trying to think where you would actually have coverage like this. Maybe like upstate New York. Let's see. Okay, so it was just in Tennessee. Yeah, that makes more sense. And so short plate here should be Italian. Uh, could this be, could this be Spain? Could this be Spain? Could this be a traveling BMW? Yes, it could. Uh, will I fall for the trap is the question. Are you traveling, Mr. BMW? Hmm, they seem like older people, may maybe more prone to traveling. Uh, this is not nice. I mean, the olive, the, the landscape is certainly reminding me more of Spain than it does of Italy here. I'm gonna go for Spain. What? Call me crazy. Watch this just be a bait, but I, call, call me an idiot. But yeah, I'm an idiot. Okay. Well, it was just deep south in Italy, so I guess you have to have some. You have to have some tricky uh, reverse psychology rounds, and and there's one of them. Okay. So back to zero here. This one feels should be South Africa or Lesotho here. I'm gonna go. Are we gonna get double but faked again? This time I will go Lesotho. Actually, do they have a rail though? I don't know if I've ever seen a rail in Lesotho like this. Yeah, they have a rail on the other side of the border. Screw it, I'm going South Africa. Yes, let's go. Okay, good, good, good. We make it out alive there. Uh, this one, Generation 4, completely snowy coverage. Um, I was thinking uh, Turkey for this. That was my first thought here. With the Generation 4, um, I'm not really sure where this would be, but for whatever reason, that's really striking me as the most likely. There's also like quite a dark road, which I think is more of a Turkish thing, unless, unless I'm mistaken. But yeah, so where can we click up in the mountains here somewhere? I'm going for it. I like this guess, actually. Oh man, so close. I mean, it's not a bad guess, but again, I would come up short there. So that was near Mount Elbrus, the, uh, the, the tallest mountain in Europe there. So, uh, so, so tough. But let's continue on because we're on a nice score so far. And this one feels like, what, 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 what culture would do this to their horses, I wonder? Mm, I was thinking Romania, maybe. Romania's the best thing I can think of, because we already failed this scene. I'm going to go for Romania. Oh, okay, Pakistan. Wow. Okay, was not aware of this coverage in Pakistan here, uh, but uh, we're right near Islamabad there. <laughs> okay. Um, wow. And this one feels maybe Alps, Italy. I can't think of anything better here. It's probably like Austria for, for all I know. And it's just North Macedonia. So let's see what my kind of normal score would be here. This one definitely feels like north of Auckland here. Wow. Okay. So South Island, but we still get 14k. So a tough, tough battle this map is. But okay. So let's go for a few more attempts here. This one definitely feels South African. Yep. Totally satisfied with South Africa here. Don't, don't see this being anywhere else. Yep, near Harris Smith there, similar kind of location as the last one. And so this one, Generation 4, Cyrillic, so it should be either Bulgaria or Russia here. No blue strip there. I, I must say, I, I think this should just be Russia, but... Yeah, not really sure where I'd place it though. It feels fairly warm, so... Oh, maybe it is just Bulgaria. Maybe it is just Bulgaria. Hard to pin this one down, that's for sure. It's kind of poor quality, kind of grainy. I will just go for Russia here, let's see. Okay, so it was just in Moscow. Interesting one. Um, but uh, yeah, let's continue on here. And so we were on three because we got the New Zealand one at the end of the last one. Um, and so this one feels Mexican, I think. No? The fact that this sign is bent back on itself makes me think more Spain then. And so this sun is more to the south, so northern hemisphere. 
This mural made me think more of Italy, but I mean, or more of uh, Mexico, but I think this is a folded back Spanish sign. So pretty happy with that, I think. Yep, yeah, good. Couldn't fool us this time. So can we get the five? Here's our next, here's our next uh, possibility. So US or Canada? I guess Argentina is a vague possibility here. Oh, the sun is more to the south, so Northern Hemisphere, good to know. So, surely USA is more likely here. You do get this kind of like, uh, kind of coverage and, or like kind of this climate in the Kamloops area where it is a bit of a rain shadow and you get this kind of desert, as you can see on the map here. But, you know, it could be there. Man, the amount of times I've double faked myself out in this video, but I feel like it could be Canada. It really could be. I've been, I've been to Kamloops and, and it definitely, like, it was almost a decade ago, but it definitely reminds me of this kind of, like, uh, this kind of area around these rivers and stuff like that, so... Oh, this, this should be something here, surely. I think I'm gonna go for it. it. You can kind of see some snow on the top of these hills. It certainly would not surprise me, although USA is super possible as well. Oh, I'm gonna go for it. Let's see, let's see. Oh man, it was just Colorado. That's probably where I would have guessed otherwise, but yeah, no, oh, no, oh, it's just a bit depressing when you, when you get sucked into these uh, bait rounds like that. No, oh, no. Oh, and so this one, I would say, it kind of feels like Bangladeshi. No, Taiwan. Okay, so one more, one more seed to end off the video here. Let's we'll see if we can at least get on some kind of streak. Um, this one feels Nigerian. This is the Nigerian follow car, but I already knew it anyway based on the houses. The question is, I think it should be around Abuja, probably a settlement around Abuja here. So maybe one of these ones out here. I think there's even some coverage up here. So I was maybe thinking in these kind of estates here, maybe. We'll see. Okay, yeah, so yeah, it was further up this direction. Kind of reminded me of up there. So that was a good guess, 20 kilometers away. Okay, and this one feels South African. Yellow outline, outside line here. Um, yeah, so it's not going to be Australia, just just had to like double double check, but yeah, I feel like it's going to be somewhere near Pretoria or Joburg here. Any excellent, another good guess here. And this one, Ugh. hmm, Italy was one of my first thoughts here. That looks like a ladder pole though, so maybe France or Spain, maybe France or Spain could be. The black and white painted uh, guardrail is certainly interesting as one feature of this round that makes it unique. And this, the ocean is to the south here, so it could be deep south France, but as for me, I do prefer Spain. I do prefer Spain. Looking around, the ladder pole certainly fits for Spain as well. So, I mean, what really can we do here? Let's just go over here and hope for the best. We are correct. We're in Ceuta, or however you pronounce it. I always forget. And everyone always tells me, but whatever. And this one, uh, very poor quality road. Feels like it's the middle of nowhere. I think this might be Bollard Spam over in the distance. So I think it might be Russia. Maybe more of this kind of coverage. I was thinking maybe even uh, Kamch Kamchatka uh, Peninsula here. Just kind of has that vibe about it. The, the like maybe ice trodden road and the generation four with the kind of like sparse trees. I think it might be a good guess. Let's see. Oh, not bad. Outside of Magadan there. So, yeah, definitely decent. Definitely happy with that. So we're on four again. Can we make it at the end here? Oh, and it's not hard around. This should be gettable. This should be gettable, mate. Oh. Malta. We could probably search for this if I wanted to try it hard. So we're driving right outside of the road. It should be Baltic. we got like an A-frame pole right here. So it should be Baltic. So I think Estonia or Latvia should be the most likely here. And I, I, I'm a leaning Estonia. Um, the sign in the background here looks like it might not have a white border, but it's really too far to tell. But kind of want to give it a quick check for Malta here, you know? You got you to stay, you got to see what happens. Um, Ma Matsi is certainly similar sounding to Malta. We have a lot of Alta, like Alta here is a similar sounding town, so... Mm. It wouldn't surprise me if uh, Malta was in Estonia, actually. Um, a lot of A endings. A lot of A endings is what I'm noticing. Hopefully I haven't gone past it here, but... The reality, it is, the reality is with so many of you watching and, and only one of me, probably some of you guys will have seen it if I've panned past it, but... Yeah, okay, so... Um, and then... Over here, there, there is, there is as, as many A endings, if we're honest. 
but I still think I prefer the- Oh, thank goodness I found it. Let's go, baby. Okay, so I was really about to guess Estonia there. I really was. Come and clean. Was about to guess Estonia, but we found it just in time, and Malta is to our south here. And so can I, uh... So that is, that is Malta there. What is this town over here? So interesting. It's kind of like a long, longish town here. And then... So Malta... I guess we could be like there or something. Uh... It doesn't really make sense, but we're going to be somewhere close here, presumably. And uh, there we go. So 1.6 kilometers away, we get a 21,000 with a five country streak with a Russia and a South Africa um, and a, a a Spain. So let's uh, let's finish up the streak here before we end off the video. Obviously, can't just end it there. Uh, and this one, okay. Well, rock wall, strange blur. I don't know what to make of this. Kind of just considering going for like a Croatia or... A, Spain, Croatia? Croatia is kind of feeling likely to me here, I must say. I'm not sure if I've ever seen this blur there. I'd kind of take, like to take a look around, but I'm going to go for it. Why not? Yeah, baby. Okay, the streak continues. Six, it's a new PB. And this one, this one is well confusing. What the heck? Black, uh, kind of black dirt here is really strange. Houses almost feel Asian, but I was kind of liking that South America off the bat, but houses do feel kind of Asian. Oh, this one's sadly devoid of clothes. So I'm kind of tossing up between like... I kind of liked Ecuador off the bat, but the longer I look at it, the less I like that. Indonesia. Indonesia does feel possible here, but that would be a very unconfident guess at this stage. So continuing to analyze here, very long lamp posts here. So maybe it could be in Thailand. It is possible. Um, don't hate Thailand, especially the darker soil could fit there as well. Still think I prefer Indo over Thai, but yeah, I think Ecuador shouldn't be it with these houses. So yeah, in Indonesia or Thailand is my, is my ultimate thought here. Maybe these, uh, these kind of pines look more Thai. Maybe so. Maybe so. Yes. And so there's really not too much to go off of here at all. Um, these lamp posts and this soil color and these kind of houses in the background, which you can't see, but yeah, they look fairly generic, I must say. Hmm. 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 Okay, so coming to a decision here, I think I will actually go Indonesia here. It just feels more likely to me. Watch it be Thailand though. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. That was on Java. And this one. Hills in the background. One of seven streak now, guys. Let's go. Um. Okay, this one's difficult, that's for sure. Hmm. So big lakes, hills in the background. Oh, nothing's really going through my head at the moment. This is a confusing round. Indonesia is possible again. We have like a similar soil color, it must be said. Uh, Cambodia. Yeah, I like, like Cambodia, I must say. It's kind of lake. I think Indo or Cambodia here is my are my two thoughts. It, it looks remarkably similar to the last round. So I am kind of thinking could we just be in a similar spot here? Although, hmm, so could we be up here? Yeah, I, I, we has to. It has to be very, very hilly, but but flat. Well, yeah, it does get some hills over here. Mm, yeah, I'm not too sure with this one. I must say, one of the two though. I, I really, those are the two that are standing up out to me the most. Could be South America as well. But I think I will go for Indo here again. Uh, this one was Mexico. Okay, so a very difficult round right near Mexico City. You guys know how I love the climate of Mexico City. Just my favorite place to guess. Not. It, I find it very, very difficult. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Seven Street, guys. Very pleased with that. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comments. But uh, I'll see you guys in another video very soon. Thank you very much for watching to the end. And I'll see you then. Goodbye.